Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with some more 2021 Panini Flawless Baseball. Random team break number 35. And 35 is from a fresh case. 36 is loaded up in the store. And no randomizer because Carl, boom, got all the spots. Making life easy for Joe Jaspi. All right, and since Carl bought all the spots, I said, hey, do you want to pick a box? He said, yes, he wants the top box. So let's pop this open here. Carl saying SEC basketball way overrated. I don't know enough about college basketball to, uh, to, to make, to say either way. Football, they're pretty good, right? All right, so there's the top one right there. And this will be for random team number 36. Save that for another time. There we go. And South Carolina inbounds it, half court, not deeper than half court shot, probably way off. I made a valiant effort, but someone was mentioning earlier that Alabama basketball was favored by almost 20 points, minus 17. Third hit here, Carl. But so we got the we got a I think the autographs on the left side. The gem gem is on the right side. Let's see what we got here for you, Carl. Thank you again. And we've got seven out of ten, Lance Berkman. Part of the uh, part of the Killer Bees, the Astros way back when. Yeah, there's Brandon Miller, forty-one points. Wow, six of thirteen from three. Wait, did they? Is there a timeout again? They're doing this play over. Here's Heine Grow. Watch Heine Grow. Nine out of ten. Piece of his lumber. Old red leg. From I don't know. It doesn't say what what era was it. It's before color color photos. Heine Grow. Yeah, 19, played from 1912 to 1927. Piece of lumber. We got Bobby Dalbeck, 3 out of 10. Let's put that into a spider box here. There's a little bit of a, a weird dent right there. I don't know where that came from. Maybe while he was, maybe he being reckless with the cards right there. But there's Bobby Dalbeck. Here is Star Swatch signature Shane McClanahan, 21 out of 25. Two color patch and auto. And we've got Will Crow, 8 out of 10. Will Crow. And we got one out of five Trevor Hoffman. Premium ink autograph. That's awesome.
with that devastating changeup. There you go, out of fives and under. Get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And we got Dalton Varsho, 11 out of 15. Nice dual relic and autograph for the Diamondbacks. Have they always used the same type of wood over the years? No. More recently, Mike Tower, there has been a, uh, well, I think it used to be made of ash for a long time. There's John Smoltz, 2 out of 15. But I think ash, the ash bat sort of fell out of favor in the last 20 years or so. And there has been an invasive, uh, an invasive beetle. Uh, a beetle, I think, from China or Europe or something like that. Some beetle that's not native to the United States that have been eating their way through uh, America's ash trees. And so now there's not enough to make bats. Or not enough quality ones to make bats. So. This would be, this is the gem side. Six out of 20, Roberto Clemente diamond, nice. All right, and the auto, oh, dual relic, you got a relic? I think I saw two relics. No, just a dual relic, but you know who it is? It's Babe Ruth. Eight out of ten. Babe Ruth dual relic. Wow. Game worn slash used material. That's awesome. And a lot of times, here's the here's the difference. A lot of times it'll say the Babe Ruth memorabilia is from like his barnstorming days or something like that. This doesn't have that that disclaimer. This is a, this this may be proper game used material right here, out of ten. That is awesome. Piece of history right here, ladies and gentlemen. Carl, thanks for getting into the action. I appreciate it. It's a nice break. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Oof.